Deep Dive with David Stendhal, where we trade without ego, no emotion, no greed, no opinion. Before we begin tonight's video blog, please read over our trading disclaimer, and remember to trade smart and accept the reality that trading futures is risky. This presentation does not provide buy-sell recommendations, and our information is strictly provided for educational purposes only. As always, trade at your own risk and analysis. Hey there, it's David Stan with tonight's Deep Dive. It is May 7th, 2019. A lot of activity going on with a lot of different markets, but I'm going to focus on live cattle, the uh, ETF being COWB. The reason I'm looking at this one is that uh, we've recently liquidated some positions. It's got some support to it. There's a lot of things that have popped up as of late that I can actually kind of highlight some of the things that are on the deep dive. So that's what I want to, uh, to focus on. So the trends are all to the downside. We've got a mixed bag when it comes to the technical rating. So anytime you have a mixed bag with the trends versus the, uh, uh, the technical rating, it should be a call to action. Why? is the technical rating not concurring with that of what the trends are. So there's reason to, to look for what is unusual in this particular case. Obviously, we also have some other things that have popped up here as well. The elastic level has a slow low as opposed to what we have up here with it, which is a pivot low. A slow low is a secondary signal. The first one is going to be a pivot low. The second one would be a slow low, meaning that, hey, did you see that the market was oversold and beginning to reverse course? So for the more conservative trader, you'd be looking at the slow low. Here's a slow sub, submarine, meaning that the market is in a trending, bearish trending phase, but it's showing signs that it's basing. So up here we have a sub that has occurred here, which tells you that the market is looking to put in a bit of a base here, but a slow sub tells you that this has been going on for a while. You really want to be watching this bigger market because there's enough that's taking place. So the more conservative trader again would be looking at the slow sub as further confirmations, not a end all be all, you know, reversal, but it's something that is a continuation and something that you should be taking a look at. Second thing there is on the deep dive patterns. We have here in uh, cattle a low, which is uh, based on the surge low, which is a profit taking. It's telling you that you should be looking at this market and looking to unwind positions, which is what took place for us yesterday. And I'll show that to you. If we look at the weekly bars, again, here with cattle, we had a slow low that, or excuse me, a, uh, a low that occurred here in surge, same indicator, one on daily bars, one on weekly bars. It also has triggered. So there's a lot that goes on in, on these bigger charts. And what you should be looking at is if you see one of those things, it's a call to action. It's an alert. It means you should be looking at the market for a particular reason. And when you get a combination, again, coming back to this, uh, an elastic slow low, a sub low, then you have a uh, the surge low on the dailies and you have ones on the weekly. There's enough indicators that are out there that are suggesting you should be looking to unwind positions on the short side and looking for a potential base and then looking for maybe a reversal. So where we stand with the, the market right now, if you look at this is the trend to the downside on daily bars for cattle. The market is sold off. It, you know, it's giving signs. When you just look at the chart, you may not see it, but there are signs based upon a lot of the alerts that we uh, uh, work with on a daily basis that there are enough things that are pointing to the fact that you should be watching this market. So if you look at these two lows that are right over here and you look at the lows of those bars, it happens to coincide with a support level. It's hard to see, but it says 44. As usual, the higher the number, the stronger the support. Here's a 7. That's support, but not necessarily strong support in comparison to a 44. So when you see this, the market has been selling off. There are indications that you might want to start taking some profits. It's not suggesting to go long the market. We, of course, wait for the systems to do that. But it's telling us that you might want to unwind some of your short positions because of the support and those other things that I talked about on the deep dive. If we come back to the website, I'll just simply show this to you, that um, the systems right now are officially flat. They're not hedged. Sometimes we have a system that's long. Sometimes we have another one that's short simultaneously. In your account, you'd be flat, obviously. But when dealing with 
different individual independent systems. One could be long, one could be short, and it's hedged. That's not the case here. We're actually flat the market. So anytime we're looking at a condition where the, the systems are fighting against one another from a hedging perspective, it would look just like this. So what you have to do is you have to look at this line right here. Is it flat? or is it hedged? In this case, it's officially flat. We liquidated some positions yesterday. Now we're still short hogs. Uh, we've got a nice open position profit with two systems, but we're officially flat. So we're looking, we've got our powder dry and we're looking for conditions where we might want to uh, theoretically, since the trend is still to the downside, jump into a short position, another short position, and take advantage of any type of a sell-off. But with everything that I just covered, it's looking more like a base is going to be put in place. And so from that perspective, we're kind of looking to see if we're, not, we're going to go long. So we've got our powder dry looking to take advantage of what's taking place with cattle. Now I mentioned just recently, we liquidated a couple positions here in cattle. Uh, so we had a 90 minute bar system and a 60 minute bar system that liquidated yesterday. And so that being the case, we're basing, we're looking to take advantage of that trend that was to the downside. Let's take some profits. Now our powder is dry. We've got a number of other indicators that are popping up and we're looking for the systems to give us an indication as to what they're gonna do. So the fact that we're flat in this particular case, uh, uh, cattle, and we just recently went flat, it gives you an indication that we're primed and ready for whatever the, the markets may throw at us. Uh, when it comes to finding the exits, if you come to signals, recent signals, exit signals, it's going to pop up a, uh, a, a, another menu bar. And what you can do is you can come right to cattle, which is the page that we were just on, and it tells you uh, what happened today and what happened yesterday and then it stops, it, it, uh, it clears itself up. So it's only looking at today's action and yesterday's action, yesterday being the previous trading day, not calendar days, but trading days. So you can always be able to go back in time, at least one bar, one trading bar, and be able to see specifically what uh, what's taken place. So for our purposes right now, there's a lot of things that have popped up, not necessarily saying that we're gonna go long the market, but it's nice that when the market does have a sell-off, as has been the case, and we're looking for an opportunity to unwind our positions, there was a lot of things, both in the profit-taking uh, deep dive alerts, the systems obviously reacting to what uh, were taking place, and then obviously we have the, the conditions where we've come down to a, a particular support level where it could potentially base here for a little bit and then look for whatever the next opportunity is going to uh, present to us. So I always like to look at what's going to happen with the market and what should we be looking at. In this particular case, I just want to show how everything is played out from the short side and how we are able to take advantage of the many little trend to the downside and how the systems are able to liquidate and those things that were popping up with the uh, the deep dive both in the patterns and some of the the general indicators and how they they meld together to form a story so that's what I want you to be able to look at on the deep dive charts so that you can take a closer look at what is taking place with any of the markets and be able to put yourself in a position that you can take advantage. Now, some of you may not trade cattle or hogs, any of the meats, but the reality is that if you even trade the uh, the equity markets, specifically the S&P 500, cattle and more precisely hogs, but the meats as a whole actually are a good uh, market to trade, both of those meat markets, uh, in relationship to the S&P 500 because of their non-correlation. So just another reason that I want to open up and kind of let you guys know some of the other markets that you may not trade, may not even consider trading, but that you might want to actually take a look at because there are advantages to all of the markets that we always look at and put yourself in a position that you might want to, you know, take a look at some other markets you wouldn't normally look at. So hogs right now, not necessarily saying to go along the market, we'll wait for the systems to do that, but we certainly did well in taking advantage of that uh, profitable swing to the downside and it's something that we can at least look at after the fact so that you feel a little more comfortable with uh, not necessarily what's going to happen into the future but sometimes you know be able to get a feel for what has taken place and how uh, the systems were accurately able to take advantage of those types of conditions so with that we will look at another market tomorrow thanks very much bye bye